We're back with the 31 Days of Masks for October. Tonight is day two of the 31 Days of Masks here on Rudy's World slash Crimson Ghost Mask Room channel. Um, this particular mask is one of my favorites. This is a character from a famous B-movie known as The Mole People. It came out in 1956. It was a universal international picture. It starred John Agar and Cynthia Patrick with Hugh Beaumont. Nestor Pavia and Alan Napier. Basically, they find this crazy group of, uh, like, weird people living under the earth. Kind of like albinos that are afraid of the sun. And uh, they look like this. <laughs> so, Don Post Studios released this first in the 1960s as part of their famous calendar line. Um, they weren't really cold the calendar masks. They're dubbed the calendar masks because those monster masks in like the 1965-66 era of Don Post Studios were all put out in a 1966 monster calendar. A lot of monster collectors out there know of this calendar and uh, those masks are very sought after, very elusive. I mean anything from the mid-60s that's latex rubber it's a miracle if it's still here today or not. So those masks are very, very hard to find. There's, there are handfuls of them known on, on some of them. So today we're going to talk about this. This is the seventies. Um, this is the seventies mole man. We call it there was, the movie was the mole people. This is the mole man mask. Um, it should be the same exact mold though, as that sixties calendar mask. They didn't really change the sculpt uh, to my knowledge. Later in 83, they, they did like a Universal Studios uh, release again. They re-released the mask. That mold is a little different. Like some of the dots are different on his forehead from what I remember. But so this mask is what a child would have been wearing in like 1973. Okay. And these are the crazy hands that you could purchase. So one thing about hands and masks, in some cases the hands can be rarer than the mask because lots of times a kid would say, I want to be a mole man for Halloween. And the parents would buy the mask and say, you already got the mask. You ain't getting those hands. That's like, too much money. You know, you don't need those. Or people just concentrated on this and didn't want the hands. To some collectors out there, the hands are no big deal. Like they don't care about collecting hands. Some like me love collecting the hands. You've seen my display with all the crazy hands and masks and, and uh, they're all displayed upright and then I think it's just as cool as having the mask. It's definitely a matching set here. So this is the 70 styles mole people or mole man hands with the longer claws. I'm going to show you that 83 universal release. This is the one that would have uh, been sold like at Universal Studios. In 83 they came back with some classic monsters at Don Post Studios and uh, this was one of them. So for many years, this 1970s mole man, mole people, mask and hand set was totally a grail piece for me. I thought I would never ever find it. Um, and uh, you know, to own the 60s calendar set was a dream. Like that, uh, I didn't know if any other hands were out there except for one pair. Um, and as far as the mask, I think I probably owned one 60s Mole Man head that was falling to pieces. I think I sold that to my buddy Aaron. I should probably try to get that back for a certain reason now. But anyway, it was a miracle I got this. And to own the 60s hands or even the mask would be a dream come true for this collection. Uh, like I was saying, I knew of one pair out there, um, a very good friend of mine has had a beautiful pair of those calendar hands for many years and actually another mutual friend of ours who's one of the most respected guys in this whole hobby um, out in California got those hands for him probably back in the early 80s and he foam filled them 
for him, sent them to his collection across the country where they have literally sat since the 80s all the way till right now in 2022. <laughs> Crazy. And uh, by some uh, circumstances I do not want to even bring up at the moment, I have acquired these hands and I'm going to show them to you right now. And this is a ultimate, number one, it's an ultimate score to land in this collection, a pair of 60s Mole Man hands. The fact that they belong to a very, very special friend of mine means everything. So I'm going to go get those now. I'm probably going to have to take this head down because the difference between the 70s hands and the 60s hands, they're massive. Um, these look big, like, like, look how big this is, okay? Imagine a little kid running around with this in Halloween. Um, the 70s versions have these longer, slender claws. Um, it is said that the 60s hands were actually cast from the real 1956 movie molds. Um, so I'm going to put this guy down for a minute. <clears throat> I'm going to have to move one of these hands. And check this out. These are the real deal 1960s Mole Man hands. Probably one of the most elusive pieces in Don Post collecting history are pieces like this. I mean, it's one thing to find a mask, but the hands were, were hardly ever bought by people. Um, there's very few hands compared to masks. When it comes to those 60s calendar masks, there's barely anything out there. Masks, hands, whatever. So look how big these are. I got smaller hands. I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but my God, that is, it looks like a bear hand, like a big bear claw, but th isn't that cool? That is said to be cast from that movie mold. If you look at the stills from the film, though, it looks like the claws are a lot skinnier and longer, like the 1970s pair. Um, who knows? They probably had different molds. They probably made different, you know, versions of them and, and they, you can use your own judgment there, but this is probably one of the coolest things I've ever got in this collection are not only the 70s set, but man, this 60s set of hands is, is like everything to me. Um, these have been known in the hobby for a very long time. Usually stuff from the 1960s is dry and cracked and hardened. These are in beautiful condition. Um, my friend's collection, uh, the room it sat in for literal decades, he kept it in the most ideal setting and uh, conditions. There were dehumidifiers, like he had the temperature perfect. And uh, for something like this to be here right now is incredible. Um, I can't stress to you how amazing these are to this hobby and uh especially to me and the condition is so nice and they're i'm guessing there may be a few pairs out there this is the only set i've ever known of um i think back we'll say like 80 1985 a friend of my a mutual friend of ours found these for my other friend out in california maybe and uh foam filled them for him shipped them across the country to his collection where they sat from the 80s through the 90s up at, all the way until right now 2022 um and here they are today so so i think this is a great uh way to go about the second day of this 31 days of masks because this is a really special specialty item here and uh to see things from the 1960s in the mask hobby um, especially Don Poe stuff from the 60s is really, really hard to come by. Um, especially in this type of condition. Imagine a little kid wearing this in the 60s, running around, you know, the streets of your town, trick-or-treating with these crazy hands on. I just, I love it. This whole thing here, this head, and these, these two sets of hands is a pretty incredible thing to have in this collection. And, uh... Special thanks to a friend out there that made this possible for these 1960s pieces. Um, I'm sure he's watching and uh, I am thrilled that they ended up here because it's very special to me. So thanks for watching this second episode. And if you guys out there 
run across stuff like this or have things in your in your family or your home that you think I would be interested in, mainly vintage stuff, 1960s through the 1980s pieces like this, hit me up on Instagram. Um, and I don't usually see every message on Instagram. There are loads of messages. There's loads of Facebook requests out there for friendships that I've, they're buried. If you want to absolutely find me and say, hey, I've got something I want to show you that you may want to buy, and I don't see your message right away, go in the comments on some of the pictures and keep getting my attention and say, hey, hey, numb nuts, answer your messages. And uh, I got something cool to sell you. So I'm a serious buyer. I will, uh, I'll treat you very well and pay, you know, what the piece is worth. But uh, thanks again. We'll see what I'm going to feature tomorrow. I don't know yet. So I'm sure it's going to be something cool something uh, maybe from the Universal Monsters line. I want this 31 Days of Masks to be really um, cool and unique. I don't just want to show you anything. I want to show you special, special stuff. And uh, because it, you probably see a lot of this in the background all the time and have no idea what you're looking at. Um, there's a lot of mask people that know, but I want you guys to kind of see a little more about the history of some of these masks and uh, how special they are and what they are. So, and if you see stuff, behind me or on these shelves that you want to see later on, put in the comments and maybe I'll do a video on it. So thanks and I'll see you tomorrow.